Good morning, children. Welcome back to the class. So, last class, we learned addition, right? We learned addition using pictures, addition using beads, and addition using ants. Okay, now, children, we are going to discuss the answers for the assignment sums. Go and bring your Max textbook and Max classwork. This is your Max textbook. And this is your max class work. Go and bring your textbooks children. I'll give you some time for you to take out your notebooks and your pencil box. Hurry up, hurry up. Go and bring your notebooks fast quickly. Did you get your notebooks children? Let's discuss the answers. First one. In the first box, we have four chocolates. In the second box, we have only one chocolate. When I add together, I got five chocolates. In the second one, in the first box, we have four rats. In the second box, four rats. When I add together, I got eight rats. Now the second one, we have 4 and 2. So when I add the numbers 4 and 2, shall we check the answer? I drew 4 beads for the number 4 and 2 beads for the number 2. Shall we add the total number of beads? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And the next one. We are going to add these numbers using fingers. Okay, let's open fingers for number 4. So, how many fingers do I have to open? 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. What is the second number? The second number is also 4. Open 4 fingers. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Shall we count the total number of fingers? 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Good job children. Now we are going to recall subtraction. We are going to recall subtraction using pictures, subtraction using lines, subtraction using beads. Now the first one, subtraction using pictures. What is this children? Yes, we have lines in the picture. Shall we count the lines? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 lines. I am going to write the number 5 inside the first box. Now, I am going to take away 2 lines. How many? 2. So, 1 and 2. I am going to write the number 2 in the second box. How many lines are left children? Shall we count the lines? 1. 2 and 3. So when you subtract the numbers 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. The next one, children, can you see the numbers? What are the numbers? We have 9 and 3. What is the sign, children? It is a minus sign. So we have to subtract the numbers. So I am going to draw lines only for the first number. You should not draw lines for the second number. You have to draw lines only for the first number. So, I am going to draw lines for the number 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Look at the second number. The number is 3. So, I am going to strike up 3 lines. 1, 2. 2 and 3. How many lines are left? Cyclin, count the number of remaining lines. Very good. Shall you check the answer children? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So when you subtract the numbers, 9 minus 3, the answer is 6. Okay, the next one. We are going to subtract the numbers using beads. So, what are the numbers? We have 6 and 5. Now, I am going to
to draw beads for the number 6. Shall we draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Will you draw beads for the second number? No, we should not draw beads for the second number. We have to draw beads only for the first number. What is the second number? The number is 5. So, I am going to strike up 5 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. How many are left? Only 1. So, I am going to write the number 1. Now children, open your max classwork. Take out your max classwork. This is your max classwork, right? Take a fresh page children. New page. Did you take the fresh page? Okay, the first one, children. Can you see the numbers, right? Write the numbers in your notebook. We have the numbers 8 and 6. So, write the number 8 and 6. Write the sign, subtraction sign. Draw two lines below 6. Now, you are going to draw lines for the first number. Look at the first number. Draw lines for the first number. Count it carefully and draw the lines for the first number. Then look at the second number. Strike out the lines. And count the remaining lines. Write it down. Shall we check the answer? I drew 8 lines for the number 8. So I am going to strike out 6 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. How many are left? Only 2. Did you write the answer too? Very good children. Super. Good job. Now take a next page. Write the numbers. 7 and 2 and put the minus sign and draw two lines. Write the number 7 and 2 put minus sign and draw two lines below the number 2. You are going to draw beads for the first number. Then see the second number, strike out the beads and count the remaining beads and write it down. Will you do it children? Okay, draw beads for the first number. Did you draw beads for the first number? Look at the number carefully and draw it. Now see the second number, strike out the beads. Count the remaining beads and write it down. Very good children. Shall we check the answer? I drew beads for the number 7 and I am going to strike out 2 beads. 1 and 2. How many are left? Shall we count the remaining beads? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So when you subtract the number 7 minus 2, the answer is 5. Children, close your max classwork. Open your max textbook. Take page number 43, 4, 3. Take page number 43, 4, 3. And keep your finger near the sum. Did you find out the birds in your notebook? Okay, keep your finger near the birds. Okay, now Mrs. is going to read the question. Now children, you have three branches, right? Keep your finger on the first branch. Count the number of birds. Write it inside the first box. Did you count the birds? Now, keep your finger near the second branch. Now count how many birds fly away. Count the number of birds fly away. 
and write it inside the second box. Then come to the third branch. Keep your finger near the third branch. Count how many birds are left. And count it and write it inside the box. Now let's check the answer children. In the first branch we have 9 birds. So I am going to write the number 9. In the second branch 4 fly away. So I am going to write the number 4. In the third branch only 5 are left. So I am going to write the number 5. On to the page number 45. Take page number 45, 4, 5. Okay, children, did you find out the numbers? Okay, we have 6 minus 1. So, you have to draw lines for the number 6. And see the second number. Strike out the line. Count the remaining lines and write it down. Okay, I will give you some time for you to do this one. Okay, start drawing lines for the first number. Did you draw the lines for the first number? Okay, see the second number? Strike out the line. Count the remaining lines and write it down. Okay, let's check the answer. I drew six lines and the second number is one. So, I am going to strike out one line. Shall we count the remaining lines? One, two, three. 4 and 5. Now children, you are going to do the assignment sums. Take page number 43. Can you see the pots? Count the pots and write the number inside the first box. Find out how many pots are broken. Write the number inside the second box. In the third box, count the remaining pots and write it down. Children, take page number 45. You are going to subtract these numbers using lines and beads. First, you have to subtract these numbers using lines. So, you have to draw lines for the first number. See the second number. Strike out the lines and write it down. And the same way, draw beads for the first number. See the second number. Strike out the beads and count the remaining beads and write it down. Thank you, children. Bye-bye.